Okay, so we're gonna talk about how you move from a logic circuit with and, or, and not gates to both logic expressions and truth tables because no matter which one of these things I have, I should be able to move to either one of them. And the truth is I wanna be able to move in between these as well. But today what we're gonna focus on is how I get from the logic circuit to the expression and the truth table. But this is the route we're gonna to take today, like that, okay? So let's talk about how we do that. Okay, so here you can see the expression. So these are my inputs, A, so just imagine these are switches, A, B, and C. And then here's my output, I'm calling it X, okay? And I've labeled these like they're TTL gates, but so this is a NOT gate. This is an AND gate. This is another AND gate. And this is an OR gate. Okay, so we have a NOT gate, AND gate, AND gate, and an OR gate, all right? So no matter what kind of chip you're using, that's the functionality of the gate, right? So how we do this is I just trace each line from the switch into the gate and then out. So this would be A. And coming into here, I need to go back. So this line is B. When it comes to the NOT gate, it's NOT B. So this is NOT B. So we say this is A and NOT B. And you write it like multiplication. Okay, so then this is the C line. It goes there, right? And I look here, and before this runs through the NOT gate, it splits off of B. So B goes into there. So this one would be B and C, right? So now I have A, not B, coming in, and I have BC coming in. So the output here is A and not B or BC. So we would write this in an expression as X equals a not B or B and C. So we would say that's A and not B or B and C. Okay, in words is how we would say that. So just so you know, okay, what that looks like in words, how you wanna say it, all right? So I have three inputs right here. And this is my output. Sometimes you have circuits that have two different or more outputs, okay? So, in a truth table, the first line is the equivalent of zero, okay? And since we have three inputs, we're gonna need eight lines. So this one's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always start the first line zero, okay? So this would be zero, zero, zero. Now there is an easier way to fill this in kind of without thinking if you don't wanna think about counting, is the least significant bit or the last place over here, you would make it, you alternate every time. So it's zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. The next one, I need to do two zeros and then two ones and then I alternate. So zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. So the next time I would do four zeros and then four ones. So let's look at what that is. That's zero, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So each one of these equates to terms over here. So they just have two though, all right? So I'm looking for anywhere where I have A and not B, okay? So A and not B would mean that I have A is one and my B column would be zero. 
So here's where my A's are one, A, and then not B would be these two. And you see there's no C term in this one, so I don't care what C is. I want A and not B, which is right there. So this one's gonna be a one, and this one's gonna be a one, and I'm just gonna make a note out here because these are terms are both considered to be true cases of A and not B, all right? So now I'm looking for B and C. Don't care what A is. So B and C, so here's B. No, not that one, B and C. So they're both one, so I put a one there. All right, now I'm looking for another case of B and C. So don't care what A is, so just ignore it this time. Here B is one, so that's B, but not there. So this is B and this is C, so this was B and C, okay? So then I go back everywhere else, sorry, and put zeros in. Oops, I, put my, I forgot to put my one. That's how I got messed up. Okay, so this truth table would have four ones and four zeros, and this one's a one. Okay, hope that helps.